So, ladies, did y'all see the the Mia Culpa movie I with uh, yes. Kelly Rowland? What y'all think about yes, that? It was great. I enjoyed the um, surprises. <laughs> what was the surprises for the you? Surprises, just just how it ended, where you know her helping the unfoldedness. Him. Yeah, and just it was a lot to unpack with the fact that her husband. Was in on a lot of, and I hope this ain't no spoiler for somebody who ain't seen it. Yeah. But the fact that her husband knew, I'm sure everyone's seen it by now. Because everybody it, it was a lot, but it was a lot at right. one time to unpack. And to me, I, I just that's one of the things I like about Tyler Perry. He goes against just the normal suspenseful movie. He gonna give you a lot of like woes yeah. in that. One movie. I just couldn't believe that the girl that was supposed to be her best friend that was married to the yeah, public the, defender. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. The brother, I couldn't believe the that she ended up sleeping with the paint. Like she never she, said, "Now you were supposed to be my friend." Now you supposed to be my friend. Why were you tell me that? But she still, that's still her husband's. You know, that's the, so, her sister in law. So but if she would have told her. She probably was afraid that her husband would have found out. Sooner than he already, already knew. knew, but he yeah, already knew he though, already right? Knew. But he already knew which the is whole why, time. Yeah, he had already knew the whole time, so, right? Um, why she wouldn't tell it? Then. But, and that's why he had that whole that's thing set up set because up. he yeah. knew, like, hey, I, I'll find my get back. You ain't gonna get my wife, and I don't get my leg back. That's how I took it. You know, he that was that was the whole plot was to get back at that guy for sleeping with his wife instead yeah, of I was just. Shocked. Dealing with his wife. I mean, it was definitely Hollywood. Yeah. Um. There was some things that I was just like, oh shit! Like what I saw everybody talking about. The first thing I saw the sex scene. You know, not taking that pause. Like yeah. it's Hollywood. <laughs> it's a movie, but it was just like y'all don't well, have okay. her going out like that. Ew. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, because like, she could have. She could have. She could have went and got a towel. Or something. He could have went and washed <laughs> off. <'cause laughs> my point. What's she get a towel for? He need to get up and go take care. Of, but. I was uh, just like, oh wow! But I mean, it was—it's Hollywood. It was a yeah. movie. I—I I didn't take too much away from it. I just knew, you know, it was a nice little plot, something you know yeah. for entertainment. But in the real world, if we compare real world versus a movie, you know, I would just hope women would just, you know, in that in that aspect, like take care of yourself. We we can't get so caught up. She 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 went to a place where she should not have been. She put yeah. herself in a position. So I feel like as a an attorney lawyer, like. I know that they do make yeah. house calls, but if you know that there's some lust there, keep a boundary. Keep yeah, a little. Yeah, nah. I, he, he, went, he, he couldn't keep the boundary. I think she it was more it, him. She, it, he wasn't. And she he was mean, pushing it, into she, it though. But she still allowed it. She yeah. still yeah. Played You keep showing up, it. he gonna, yeah, he gonna do she, He got her yeah, at a vulnerable, he got her at a vulnerable point in yeah, her life. Yeah, she's having issues she was already with her having issues. And I think a lot of women mess up that way. When they already got a lot going on, They'll let that one get in their head, and mm. then it's like you just put it in the head because you you vulnerable right now. Yeah. Like I'm not getting what I need at home. I'm not and right. I'm my man be all successful. this attention, mm. and yeah. every time I turn around, you doing something for me, but he ain't doing that. And I see him every day. It's like, I mean, mm. where the husband had a great he was an anesthesiologist, so he had a great job. He just had a drug problem, so he well, had he that wasn't working himself. no more. Oh, yeah, no, because she was taking care of him. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't working he wasn't no working. more. He we weren't me. Right, no, right, right, right. And then he lied, she lied to his family for him. Like, that's a lot to ask of somebody. Like, I'm already yeah. taking care of you. And, and then your, your mama treat me like right. I ain't nothing. That your mother, family I don't here know, y'all. Like I'm mm -mm. using you. She, I, she couldn't have been my mother-in-law. Mm. That's just deeper she issues. I feel like, you know, when it comes to marriages, like, a lot of times when you have those men who are mama's boys and i'm gonna touch and go on this but there has to be a fine line of where you know you are putting your wife and your family first mama should not be first nope. mama should not be the you consultant. get married your wife and mama you should not one. be the decision maker mama should not be the delegator mama should not be doing nothing but just checking on you and seeing how y'all doing and that's it and if Sister girl want to meet up for a mommy daughter date, a uh, son and whatever. Then that's fine. But all the extra, yeah, you know, that's where I think relationships kind of go wrong is the involvement of the in laws. The in laws, yeah, I yeah, and being able to put proper boundaries into where both parties are feeling respected, 
heard and not feeling like mom is being invasive right. in their relationship because and she was very invasive. Yeah. Couldn't she have been me, y'all. You can't place. speak up. You no. can't speak up to your mom she and check your mama when she out of pocket. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. That's a mama's a boy. Yeah. yeah, it was a major moment for it, <laughs> but it was a good movie. It was a good movie. I yeah. It. I yeah. Really How many stars y'all it. give it? One out of ten. I give it eight. eight I'm stars. Say eight. Yeah, I'm me say too. Eight, eight stars yeah. too. I think yeah. it was okay. Yeah, I feel like the end could have just been a little. I get that she was just like done. Like I'm done. I ain't about to play that. I think that they should have been together at the end. Which no, I think no, no, her she and the felt like you didn't, I didn't gave you what I needed to. But see, that no. would have been the no, that would have been the common ending though. Her to go be with him because they talked about going to. Right, whatever, Dominican Republic. When you whatever. find out who a person really is, that man, he really had a problem. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say he, he had, he an had a sexual addiction. addiction. Yeah, yeah, he had a sexual and addiction. He, the so amount of it's stuff like, he had going on, yeah. even if. Even if you she thought the, she was special, she really no, wasn't nobody special. Look at all the women he had up there. That man yeah. had like, no, no, they was just peeling no, and right, bringing no, 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 She said no layers. Layers. Yeah, she meant that. It wasn't no layers. getting together after that. Yeah, yeah, no, it ain't no getting together. You got a, you got an addiction that you need to go take care yeah. of. At that point, you're not looking at a person for love. You're looking at them like, what can you offer me in this moment? I want self gratification right now. When I get it, I'm done with you. I'm gonna put you over here. Right. We ain't gonna do that. No, I agree. All right, so y'all heard it here. Eight out of ten. Mia Copa.